Fortunate enough to be standing here with Lee Minchel, Minchel Trading at the Fun Convention here in Orlando. You've been a very, very busy man today, and we appreciate you taking the time to speak to us. Let's talk a little bit about 2022. What are we looking at right now? Well, in 2022, um, obviously our firm deals in ancient coins, modern coins, uh, rare coins. So we'll start off with the modern issues, which were right here in 2022. We're seeing uh, the market in 2022. It's a little bit slower than what we saw in 2021. I think that's due to the 2021. We had two different markets. We had the, the last year that went up through, you know, the last year of issue or the 2021, which ended in July, and then we had the brand new issue. And so everybody kind of got their first new design. Um, I think that 2022 for the modern and silver seems to be a little bit slow, and the gold seems to be very active. So I'm seeing the silver being a little bit slower than it had been, and the gold a little bit hotter than uh, we were anticipating. So gold's doing well and silver's a little bit slower. But then you've seen trends like this <clears throat> before, so you just simply have to anticipate what's going to be the next step. Right, so I think it's just starting off a little bit slower. I think it'll pick up throughout the year, and uh, I still think the sales will be there on the modern coins, but it's just getting started a little bit slow. A lot of it had to do with the U.S. Mint came out with about 20 products in the last three months of the year, and that would just oversaturated the market. So. And I think I don't think anybody sees the urgency in going out and buying a brand new 2022 coin. It's going to be there for the whole year. Now let's go away from the modern for now. Let's go all the way back to the worlds and ancients. How are they doing right now? So we actually do have a world and ancient division, which most people don't know about, but we actually carry a two to three million dollar inventory of world coins and ancient coins, and those both of those fields are doing phenomenal. Uh, you know, the fun show isn't known for the world and ancient since the major world and ancient show is next week in New York, which we'll have two or three people there. Uh, but ancients have seen a huge explosion in price and, and interest, especially in the 12 Caesars. Um, we coll I collaborated on a book that was published last year on the 12 Caesars, and we've sold uh, 10 complete gold sets from 500,000 to 2 million you know, just from that book. Um, and in terms of world coins, um, you know, I bought a really rare uh, Br British uh, Triple Unite yesterday, and I'd, I've only owned one ever before. You know, it's a six-figure coin. Uh, so to find something like that on the floor here was pretty amazing. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of activity in uh, Mint State hammered coins uh, from you know England and France and Italy, and so we specialize in that 1300 to 1600 Mint State foreign gold coin. Uh, and the demand that we've gotten from our foreign sales has been unbelievable. So we sell a lot of coins uh, outside the country when it comes to world coins. We sell more world coins outside the, outside the United States than we do inside the United States. And we're not a retailer, but on the world coins, we do put our coins out there for sale versus the U.S. coins, we don't do that as much. How difficult is it to source quality ancients? It is every single day it gets harder. Um, from Five years ago, uh, finding them in auction and only be, you know, and being able to buy 80% of the coins I wanted to bid on, now we buy 20% of the coins we want to bid on. Also, the quality is just not there. You know, they, they still come up with some great quality coins from time to time, but now more than half the coins have problems. They were either mounted at one time, they were brushed, they were in jewelry, they, you know, have banker's marks on them. They, uh, have a whole assortment of different uh, things that were wrong with the coins and we try to stay with a coin that is problem free and is a good example so at this point if I see a hundred uh, gold ori I uh, probably 80 of them are damaged so that's a pretty substantial percentage right yeah there. so it makes it tough to go forward but there's a couple of them if it's a Caliglia an Otho or a Galba I'll probably buy it in any condition just because there's only 40 or 50 of them holdered so far. So. Well there's going to be a high interest in world and ancient coins. How does someone who's interested in getting started get in connection with you? Um, uh, we have a website called uh, MinchelTrading.com would be a good place. Um, so that'd be the number one place you can go to our website. Also we have a, uh, a parent company called uh, Finest Known uh, which is our retail arm, and they have a lot of coins listed on their site. Um, uh, they list all our ancients and all our world coins on their site. Awesome. So that's findusknown.com. Okay, yeah. great. That's a great place to find it. Yeah. Lee, I know you've got a lot of work to do, and we appreciate the fact you've taken the time here once again. We want to wish you a successful 2022, right. and well, thank you so much. Well, thank Coin World, and thank you guys for everything you do for the industry and us. So thank you.